I will make this ashes to reduce it to this. It's only gold and uh, the silica from the icy chips. And I do it without losing any gold. I'll show you what I made for this. Made this one. It's uh, in a copper pipe, you can see that. This jar will go under here. And this one will go under here. Like this. Water will come from the pump to go down this small pipe and into the bottom of this jar. I made a little bend on it to try to make it stir it up, but it didn't work exactly how I wanted to, but it works fine. And you can do this, it's 100% safe, it's only water, as you can see I do it in my kitchen. And the ashes and everything will come up from this pipe and go down to this, and nothing goes to nature. And I'll show you. First you take the jar with the ashes. This is from about 200 gram of burned um, mixed icy chips from ram sticks and stuff. Just fill it up with some water. And shake it. Make sure everything is mixed up well. You see it's pretty black. <laughs> then I take the lid off. And this I made a little funnel underneath just to get the water stream collected inside this. I tried without that one, it works like this, but this is better, it works faster. And then I put the lid on, put it on here. You can see I like Dolmio and uh, Uncle Ben. It's sweet and sour, that's my favorite. And I take the empty one. Top. And then it looks like this. And the small pipe is going all the way down. This glass is a safety glass to make sure no gold is going up to the pipe and down again and up again. i never seen any gold in this glass. Everything remains here, but I uh, just do it for safety. So you won't lose any gold. Sorry about the hoses. Yeah, that's it. And um, now I'll start the pump. First glass is filling up. You will soon see the water come over. There we go. And when that fills up, it will come out on the tubing in front here. Here.
And this one, clear up and maybe, I don't know, four or five minutes. See the first glass is not tight up. Yeah, you can skip ahead if you like. This might take. I just want to show you how much time it takes in real time. And you will not lose any gold. The burning process. I'm done like everyone else do. Burn it, sift it, crush it, everything. So I don't think that's so exciting to see. Let's skip that part. I really want to show you this one. The small pipe where the water go all the way down. A little bend on it. It swirls around. And the water is pushed up again which means the gold won't lift up here and it will definitely not lift through here but if it should do that it goes down here and all the way down in the bottom and it remains here and water is pushed up and out this pipe again and the ashes remains here Just run on a 12 volt, 11.7, 12 volt uh, small uh, water pump. And this I only need to refill once with that bucket of water to get everything here cleared up. And then I separate the magnetic stuff from everything else. This is from the last time. This also contains gold, as you know. But uh, I have to do this outside to get rid of the iron and copper. Now it's winter, so I collect it for the summer. This is all that's left from, yeah, I don't know, 400 gram mixed icy chips from ram sticks. And it's only, as you see, it's only silica and gold. So I was thinking about importing this with copper and do the electrolytes to take it out. As you can see now, the water is clearing up already. Everything. Now this one is totally black. When the water is all clear in this one, I take this off. I put the, the other lid on this, and I shake it, and I put it back just to mix it up so I can get every ash. All the ashes out. You see, and it, now it's been yeah, ten minutes. Now I'll stop it. Stop the pump. Shake it. Just put it back on. Yeah, 
and start to pump. So now it's all dark again. It could go all clear. Pretty fast. So water in here. And that should be plenty for the process to finish up. It's all black still. So it's clicking up. Sorry about my English. Probably terrible to listen to. <laughs> this I uh, use a uh, fill up twice. It takes about a gallon. So five. I don't know how much a gallon is, but <laughs> it's um, it's about five six liter. Maybe try to make another container, but I like yeah, I like using glasses, the glass. <coughs> then I can see, check underneath in the magnifier to see if there is any gold in this, and I can see when this is clearing up. Slowly start to clear up again. I will shake it one more time before I stop. If you have any idea how to do this better, I'd love to hear from you. If not, just make your own little piece. See the water is getting clear again. I'll stop the pump. I'll shake it. Yeah, it's not much left now. It was this high. It's not even in dark, it's all clear already. This, I'll just leave it. I'll just let it run. Now both is going to clear. 
Even the glass in the front is clearing up. Huh? So now the ashes is done. And you see, no gold missing. I think I stop now. And to get the magnetic stuff out. There's always a lot of that just inside here. Put this on top. And take one of my magnets. This is a fat one. On top. I do it all wet. Turn it upside down and shake it. Shake it again. And there it is, all washed out. In here. Do the cough maybe two three times. This is the second run. You see, it's it's not much left. So it's in here. Just to pour out some water. And now you see, this is all that's left. It's not much. All the gold, they were put in the icy chips. Is here. You don't lose anything. Okay, guys. Thanks. Bye.